All right, so today I got my Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays. I've had these for some years. I haven't been wearing them, trying to sell them. Instead of just selling them on eBay, I want to sell them on Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. I'm going to use the hammock data software today. Um, to do that, it's going to be a website. In the website, I'm going to take a photo of different things like the condition, the brand, the model number. I'm going to set the purchase price. I'm going to give a description. Um, and then in there, I'm just going to list it all right there. It'll post to those three sites all at the same time. So all I really need to do is just get started taking photos. Um, so right now, since we have the box, I'm just going to look at, take a picture of the, the model number specifically. It's right here. Make sure I get the good white background. All right. Easy as that. All right, I already took a picture of the model number, but now I'm gonna set up my default photo. Something where I can get the entire shoe, kind of get the whole essence of it. That'll be my main photo. That'll go on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. And in the app, I'm just gonna hit default, take photo. I like how that looks. All right. In the software, it says next suggested photo should be the brand. So I'm just gonna make sure I can get the Air Jordan logo on here somewhere. You get a good shot of it right there on the, the side of it. I'm just gonna take a photo. And then you got the Jordan logo or 23 in the back there too. Okay, now Hammock is suggesting I take a photo of the side. So for the side, I'm gonna set these shoes flat on their side so I can get both sides in one photo. I like how that looks. I'm just gonna flip these over, take a photo of the other side now. Now we're gonna take a photo of the front. It's important to get as many angles as you possibly can. Your buyers are gonna to wanna to know every aspect of this, of this product, where it came from, whether it's legitimate or not, and providing enough photos is obviously the best way to do that. So here we're gonna get a photo of the front. Lighting looks good. Easy as that. So I already got six photos right now. Um, I believe eBay lets you post up to 12. I think if we follow all of Hammock's suggestions, we're gonna hit that full 12. So now I'm taking a photo of the back. Let me adjust my light a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Very good. We'll retake that one. Haven't had any issues with the app so far. No bugs, no slowing down. It's very seamless. There we go. All right, and now there's four photos that Hammock suggests looking at the condition. I'm just gonna take a quick look kind of at the bottom. That's one good way to see how much a shoe, photo, a shoe has been worn. So I'm just gonna try to set these up so I can show the buyer, potential buyers, what the bottom trend is looking like right now. So if you were looking at this right now, you would definitely be able to see that these do not have a significant amount of wear. All the tread is still there. Um, looking around these, there's a scuff on the back. I see a small scuff. So I'm definitely gonna wanna add that. I don't want any surprises for my buyer. They won't be able to hit me with any sort of action after the fact saying I didn't provide enough information. So as you can see right there, there's a clear scuff. I'm gonna include that. Let's see, so we have two, Photos of the condition right now. I'm gonna look for any sort of creasing or anything. So it looks like there's a little discoloration on the laces. I'll just take a picture of that. And after that, I think we should be good to just about wrap this up. So in this photo, you can clearly see a little bit of brown discoloration there. Okay. And so yeah, so right now I have 
10 photos. I feel confident in uploading with 10 photos right now. It gives a buyer an idea of all of the aspects of the shoe. I got multiple angles, front, bottom, back, both sides. So now I'm just gonna select the condition. So you get new with tags, new without tags, and used. I'm definitely gonna select used for these. Um, brand, I'm gonna write Nike Air Jordan or Air Jordan. Model, um, these are the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray. So I'm gonna write 11 Cool Gray. Quantity is the next question that it asks or the next um, specific it wants me to fill out. We only have one of these. And for the purchase price, I'm gonna set these at, I'll set them at say 99, 99. Fair enough, we'll see who bites on that. Description, I won't go through that right now, but for these I would just you know write something like, um, I'd write the size. You know, we got a size 10 and a half Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays, maybe eight out of 10 condition just for some of the color discoloration, um, no creases, things like that. So once we have the description, we're good to hit the submit button. That's all we really need. I've, I've gotten a photo of all the sides, all the flaws of the specifics of the brand, the tread on the bottom. I got my price, the brand, um, how many I have, a description. And at that point, I'm ready to list it on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari all at one time. So it took us about five minutes to take product photos, write a description, set a price, and post to three different platforms. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Blah.